Hey guys, so today is the 28th of February. I filmed a uh, recent reads video that's going up the first of like the first Monday in March. So I'm not sure when this video is going up or if it's going up at all, but here we are. So today I'm going to be doing the Leap Year book tag. I saw it on Pickle Hearts Books originally, and the original video is by Paper Fairy. Maybe, I don't know. I didn't watch enough of the video to find out. I just wanted to do this tag. I'll leave a link down below to the original creator and to Pickle Heart Books if you guys can go watch their videos. Um, but let's get into questions, because that's what this is. It's a tag. Woo-woo! Okay. What is one book that brought a little something extra? And I'm gonna go with a book that just gave me um, like a little bit of extra like feelings. Um, does that make sense? For this question, I'm gonna do like a little something extra when it comes to my opinions and how I felt on this book. Not that I have it picked out yet. Brought a little something extra. There's so many books I could pick for this question, but I really want to go with the Sarah J. Mass book, and um, so I'm going to go with that. So a book that made me feel something a little bit extra is Empire of Storms by Sarah J. Mass. Now, there's so many books I could have picked for this, so many books that are less talked about than Sarah J. Mass, just in general, but this book makes me feel something. I, I know a lot of people don't actually like this book and they think it's the worst in the series and I just went <clears throat> Air of Fire or Kingdom of Ash. You you choose that of those two. But this book makes me feel something extra because my favorite character in the entire series, my favorite book boyfriend, I, I'm gonna say that right now, my favorite book boyfriend ever is in this book and his name is Lorcan and I love him so much so this book just gives me little feelings because my OTP is in this book Lorcan is in this book and also um like callbacks to um the Assassin's Blade is also in this book and so I just really like this book a lot Okay, so the next question is, taking a big leap, what is one book that you are slash were afraid to read? And um, today, as I'm filming this, I just finished this book, and I loved it so much that I'm not going to shut up about it for probably the entire year, if not a little bit more, and that is The Phoenix House by C.K. Miller. I was afraid to read this book because... It's an indie published book, and I'm not, I wasn't afraid to read it because I thought it would be lower quality than traditionally published books, because I've read some really low quality traditionally published book. But, I was afraid to read this because everybody on, um, Bookstagram that is like indie published, they're really, really friendly, and they're really nice and kind, and I was afraid to read this book and not like it. And, um... I was wrong. I absolutely love this book. I gave it five stars. If you want a fantastic story, a fantastic main character who, by the way, is a bad butt, and also you want a fantastic romance, you gotta pick this book up. And if you pick up this book and read it, please DM me on Instagram or tag me in the post read it on Instagram if we talk about it on Twitter. DM like tag me. I just want to hear your thoughts. I want to gush over this fantastic book with you. So please keep me in mind if you read this book. I would totally recommend reading it, by the way. All right, so the next one is every four years, what is the fourth book you've read this year? Now, if people read more than, you know, two books a month, this might be, you know, a little bit of a cooler question, but for me, I reread this book this year from my book club, which, uh, here's the tag if you want to go follow us on Instagram. I, I swear, I, pl I plug that book club every single video. Uh, but I reread this book. I gave it five stars. I loved it last year. I love it this year, and I can't wait for the third one to come out. So this is the fourth book I read this year. I gave it five stars if you're curious. All right, this one's a little bit of like a scavenger hunt. So, um... It says 366 days in the year. Look at your third shelf, name the sixth book on that shelf, and name the sixth book after that. Now, um, I have a book.
bookshelf that's at the tippy top, if you go all the way to the top, that has books that I hate. Then we have Sarah J. Mass. We have Lee Bardugo, which does not have six books on it. Well, I mean, it does. But we don't have any more than that. Um, and then we have this shelf. We have this shelf and this shelf, and then we have one over there. And I'm going to go from the bottom and then go up, just because these three shelves have the most books on them. So we have a higher chance. So third shelf, sixth book. One, two, three, four, five, six. This book is the abs An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green. I got this, I think, for Christmas in 2018, and I haven't really read it yet. I haven't read it yet. I actually started it, but I have not... I, I'm only on chapter one, and I haven't picked it up. It was weird. I, like, really wanted to read a contemporary, and then I started a contemporary, and I was like, yeah, let's not. So then the sixth book after An Absolutely Remarkable Thing is one, two, three, because Nevermore is usually here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the next one is Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. Love this book. I think I gave it four stars. I read it in 2018, I think. I love this book. Um, I do want to reread the entire series once the final book and the additional add-on comes out. So I have not read Defy Me, but I want to, but I want to wait till I get the next book, because apparently it ends on a cliffhanger, which, like, uh, Restore Me ended on a cliffhanger, and I was not okay, so we're going to wait a little bit. So, uh, yeah, this is, yep, yeah, this is, you know, you yeah, know, yeah, 12th book on the shelf, there you go. Oh, boy, this is, uh, all right, so the next question I have two answers for. I just looked on my shelf. You, uh, you can probably tell I pulled the books out so I knew which one I was. Anyway, so question number five is, leaping ahead, name four books that you want to read by the next leap year, or an alternate thing for it, is name something on your bookish bucket, bookish bucket list that you want to complete by the next leap year. So the first, like, book... On this, I would like to have read Mistborn, if not the entire, what is this series called? If not have read the entire Mistborn trilogy? I think it has some spin-offs too. This is a pretty big book, uh, 641 pages, and there's still a little bit more in here. Um, I do actually, I do want to read this book in 2020, but I don't know if I'm going to, because God knows I have already too many books I want to read this year. So we'll see how it goes, but by the next, uh, by the next leap year, I would like to read this book. And then I have, um, said it said four, technically. Uh, let's talk about these ones. I would like to have, I would like to finish this series. And by finishing it, I'm going to reread it. I saw Wicked last May, um, and I, you know, it was okay, you know. I like the second half of the play better than the first half. But, um, it made me really want to reread this series, and I planned on rereading it last year, but I never got around to doing it. So basically, I'd like to finish it, which, and to finish it, I need to read Yellow Brick War and The End of Oz. Um, and then I also would like to reread it, because I need to reread the first two, because uh, I'd like to have, like, reread it. I'd like to binge the series, so if you want to see a reading vlog on me rereading -re all of them, and rereading two of them, huh? What am I even saying? Okay, what I'm saying is I've never read the last two books, and I would like to read the first two and then continue on for the last two. That should make better sense. I don't know why the first time I said it was so confusing, but yeah. All right, question number six is Leapfrog. Name a book on your TBR that has green in it. And so for that, I have two. They're both metal grades, and I think they might be siblings, like the authors. That is A Tale of Magic by Chris Colfer. Uh, I want to read this book because not only is it metal grade, but it has a fantastic freaking cover. Um, yes. And then I'd also like to read Artemis Fowl because it's being adapted into a movie. And it's supposed to be one, I think it's supposed to be coming out in 2020. So I'd like to read the first book by the time it comes out. So yeah. Question seven is, bad luck. What bookish things do you steer clear from? Now, this is kind of a hard one because 
I don't really steer clear from a lot of things. Um, I don't, this isn't like a, like a bookish thing, it's just like a genre in general. I'm not really a big fan of contemporary. I have a few contemporaries on my shelf and I think I've only read one. Like officially I've only read Always Never Yours. And I, all the other contemporaries on my shelf I've not really read. I have, oh wait, I have, I, okay. I have, I've read three of them on my shelf. But I'm not really a contemporary person, so I don't, I kind of stay clear from that. Um, I also, you know, tend to DNF books that don't have a number for each chapter. And I talked about this in last week's video, but since I'm filming this on the same day, it's still like fresh in my heart. And that is, why do people not number their chapters? Please. How hard would it be to put a one, two, whatever number at the beginning of your chapter? It's just a pleasing for me to go, hey, I'm on chapter four. Instead of going, hey, I'm on chapter italicized name, italicized name, because that's annoying. And then the final question is tag four people. Honey, if you think I have four people to tag, you don't know me. But granted, you don't know me, but... Anyway, um, if you guys want to do this tag, uh, I tag you, and if you do this tag, uh, tag me. Send it my way, I will watch it if you do do that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up, and subscribe down below because I post videos every single Monday, and so I'll see you guys all next week for another video. And hey, don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Bye, guys. Wake me up, cause you're just a ghost. Inside my head